Fox 12 is your home for the playoff bound Portland Thorns and Sunday was the regular season home finale against Chicago. Fox 12's Nick Krupke and Kat Tarr anchored our pregame and postgame show coverage and wrap up the victorious day in Soccer City. One of the successful Sunday in Soccer City, USA, is those Portland Thorns back into first place, a 3-0 win over the Chicago Red Stars. One of the former teams, both of them right here, Kat Tarr, yeah. graduated from Columbia River High School in Vancouver, played for the Thorns in 2014. Yes. The way this team has played, what a week, right? I mean, Chicago, they, they fought hard, but the first half, both teams, I would say, good fight. Second half, no chance. The Thorns yeah. now the league best, 46 goals. Another clean sheet now, nine on the year of shutouts. Wow, my goodness. Let's go right to that second half. And it really changed early on. We were sitting upstairs in the press box and said they're going to score. And guess what? Two minutes in they did because Morgan Weaver did her thing. Yeah, Morgan Weaver on the left side dribbled two players. Left shot against Alyssa Nayer, U.S. national team goalkeeper. But she ultimately had no chance. Yeah, and then Chicago has a player get sent off for the double bird to the referee. I don't think they showed that on TV, but we saw it, and that's yeah. what happened there. You can't do that. It's a no-no. And then after that, they collected it. The Portland playing with a, a woman up on that match. Yep. Sophia Smith playing for MVP, finds Weaver for the brace, her sixth on the season. Ultimately, it didn't matter that the Chicago team lost a player down because Portland was on fire. Sophia Smith got down the line, crossed it. Morgan Weaver literally throwing her body <laughs> into the goal, and that's what it takes when you're on the path to win a shield. Taylor Porter added another one in stoppage time for that 3-0 win after the match, of course, the final regular season game here at home. The Supporters Player of the Year goes to Sophia Smith. she got 12 goals on the season, second best in the league right now, but they have bigger goals, a shield and a cup. Oh, my. We have a home playoff game. I hope the stadium is completely packed. I think the fans are amazing. I, We owe them everything. I mean, the amount of support they've had with us and the communication we've had with them this year, it's been a struggle, obviously, but you know what? They are amazing and that they constantly come and support us, and we honestly feel the love from them, and we want to give it back to them, and we try in every game. Yeah, and that first goal by Morgan Weaver, what a celebration. The wacky, inflatable, tube-flailing <laughs> arm woman with Kelly Hubley pump her up. I mean, they said that they practiced this. I would want to be in the locker room watching them practice mm -hmm. a inflatable blow-up person for the goal, but... Can't wait to see what they do for this next goal. I want that to be like a new bobblehead and make it a giveaway <laughs> here at the Thorns matches. That would be cool. They won't be back here until a potential semifinal matchup if they can lock up a top seed one or two. Then get that done on the road this yeah. coming weekend in New Jersey against Gotham. For Kat, I'm Nick. Back to you. All right, guys, thank you very much. The Thorns regular season finale on the road in New Jersey can be seen this Saturday live on Fox 12+. Plus. Pre-game coverage will begin at 2.30.